enter the stars and many of you have asked me to look at this bacteria that they launched 20 locations in 50 balloons over the United States during the eclipse and I don't believe there's any way else to cut this you guys this is the strain here's the study the only study I could find on this bacterium called Bacillus xerothermodurans now I studied this very carefully because I did not want to make a mistake and scare people needlessly this is it this is the man that discovered it and he mysteriously died they said after a serious illness last year now they are launching or they launched his bacterium that he discovered Painobacillus xerothermodurans into the atmosphere so I pulled up this study and what they're saying about this bacteria is that they really don't understand this bacteria and it says here that the biochemical tests exterior and interior spore morphology and growth characteristics of this organism do not fit those of any of the presently described species of bacteria. Consequently, we regard this organism as belonging to a new species, for which we propose the name Bacillus xerothermodurans. The type strain of this species has been deposited in the American Type Culture Collection this is the strain now what they're gonna do with this why they launched it is beyond me I'm, I don't have a crystal ball I don't know the future I simply investigate what they're doing this bacteria is highly resistant to dry heat which is why they they're saying they're studying it their cover story is they wanted to launch it with low ultraviolet radiation exposure. That's why they launched it during the eclipse. As you can see, they launched it directly in the path of the eclipse. And they're saying that the whole thing was to recreate the conditions on Mars. Thinner air, ultraviolet radiation in the stratosphere comparable to those on the surface of Mars. During the eclipse, the moon will block some UV rays, making the environment or stratosphere even more similar to the Martian stratosphere. That is the cover story. This is the bacteria. They're putting it on these aluminum plates, wash it up in the atmosphere, and this is what they're saying they're doing. They're saying it's harmless, but as I just read to you in this, in this study, they don't really know what this thing is they cooked it at very high heat I don't believe they were able to kill it this is what it looks like it has nine layers one of them they describe it as being out of the ordinary this is almost like an alien spore Typical surface morph morphology in detail. The surface honeycomb pattern of the polygonal depression surrounded by straight ridges is similar to that found in other reports and literature. In his ultrastructure study, large spore found the section revealed irregular thick outer spore coat composed of globular subunits in an unusual laminated inner spore coat containing up to nine distinct layers as shown in figure two which is here nine layers in this thing it may be speculated that these spore coats may serve as barriers to moisture loss during heating and thereby account for the extreme resistance to dry heat this is how they're saying 
that it is resistant to dry heat. Unbelievable. This is what they just launched over the United States during the eclipse. Keep our eyes peeled, you guys. This is the strain. We just did we just did a decode, several decodes on the strain. Zombie apocalypse, vampires, and they're calling this a strain as well that they just launched over the United States. Take care and be safe, you guys.